Uh, good morning students uh, once again i welcome you all for the another session of uh, this uh, subject analysis of the determinate structures so after completing uh, the uh, analysis of arches now we'll going to consider the uh, cables okay uh, what do you mean by this uh, cable okay so the cables are generally fabricated from uh, high strength steel wires okay uh, due to intrinsic flexibility as you know cables are flexible in nature so because of its flexibility the cables are particularly free from bending moments and shear forces so what is the difference between the arch and this cable structures so as soon as if you provide cables so there will be no bending moments and no shear forces so because of flexibility so since the cable is flexible okay there will be no bending moments and no shear forces okay so that is the advantages of cables okay but there is there is a uh, force in the cable so that will be tension in the cable will be there no bending moments no shear forces only there will be a uh, forces that is tension forces will be there in this cable now this is uh, what you can see and the different members of this uh, cable structure so just an example uh, it is a suspension bridge with the cable so this will be the suspension bridge with the cable one end of the bridge uh, will going to provide this cable uh, structures now what are the elements of uh, this uh, cable structures now you can see the elements okay so what we are seeing this portion so th this is one support okay this is uh, another support okay so these are the two supports are called as towers okay these are called as towers okay so in between uh, these two supports the cable will be there so this is called as the cable okay and this cable will be again after the supports it will be taken like this okay so this portion okay this portion is called as a anchor cable okay okay this portion is a, sorry this is a suspension cable so please uh, make correction so this portion this portion of the cable is called as suspension cable and these two cables okay this one and this one are called as anchor cable okay so this is anchor cable this is anchor cable and this will be suspension cable okay and uh, this is a span so the horizontal distance between two towers or two supports okay is called as span of the cable structure span of the cable okay and as usual you can see here uh, this is a imaginary line horizontal line so from vertical distance between this imaginary line and the lowest point of the cable is called as sag so in arches we have seen that a central rise okay h is equal to central rise so same way here in this uh, cable structure so the vertical distance between this horizontal line and the lower most part of the cable structure or cable is called as sag this is also called as sag or dip okay this vertical height h it is indicated by h so h is known as sag or dip of the cable structure okay so these two are the supports though they are called as a towers so the portion of the cable in between these two supports is called as suspension cable and these two other ends are taken and anchored at some suitable points so these cables are also called as anchor cables this is anchor cable this is anchor anchor cable and this is suspension cable okay and this is the span of the cable so from here to here it is span of the cable and this is central sag or dip okay you cannot say rise now so in arches we have called it as rise but here it is sag or dip of the cable okay so that's what we have explained here span so what is span now so span is nothing but it is the horizontal distance between okay horizontal distance between two end supports so these are the two end support so the horizontal distance between these two supports is called as cable and that is span okay then what is the length length of the cable so this portion okay this is the length of the cable so along the cable whatever the length is there this is length of the cable not this length this is not called length of the cable so along this length is called as length of the cable okay then uh, next is a uh, sag or dip okay this portion what i am saying 
this portion is called as sag or dip it is the vertical distance of any point on the cable if you take any point on the cable whatever the vertical distance between this imaginary horizontal line to that particular point this vertical distance is called sag or dip then as we know that so since the cable is flexible one there will be no bending moment no shear forces in the cable but there is a force called as tension so tension force will be there in this cable so it is the axial force induced in the cable axial means in this portion only so whatever the uh, shape of the cable is there in that only the force will be there that is tension force will be there in the cable so you may uh, found out uh, there are so many examples in which uh, this cable structure is used uh, that is many engineering applications are there such that uh, suspension bridges cable, whatever the suspension bridges you can see there will be a cable structure the best example is uh, so most of you have seen uh, the gokak falls so it is one of the example of uh, suspension bridge okay so then uh, transmission lines so electric transmission lines okay so there will be a cable okay then guy wires means tension wires for high towers okay so these are the engineering application of cable structures then uh, the slope of the cable depends upon the its length and load supported by it so the slope of this cable mainly depends on what it is the length how how much length is there for the cable and what what different types of loads acting on the cable based on that the slope you can find out okay now one uh, simple uh, terms you can uh, study before uh, solving the problems so let us consider uh, the how to find out the length of the cable so length of the cable when supports are at same levels and cable subjected to udl now see there are two supports that is uh, a and b again remember these if you take uh, these are the hinged supports there will be two reactions okay there will be two reactions uh, this is not a three hinged so see just i have marked here point c this is not a hinge okay so you can take hinge at a hinge at b okay so because of hinge there will be two reactions now ha then this is va okay this will be va this will be vb and this will be hb so one uh, observation can you make from this figure when you compare this with the arch in arch okay same way we have taken the two reactions so for this no problem that is a vertical va this is vertical vb but what about this direction in arch we have taken in this direction okay ha and hb are in this direction now in this case the horizontal reactions are moving outside from the support okay so why this uh, now uh, this is the load Okay, when the cable is subjected to this UDL, so this UDL or this load will try to pull this. Okay, this load will try to pull the cable, and when the cable when the cable is pulled like this, these two supports will try to come each other. Okay, this when you pull this with this load, this try to come to this, and uh, support B will try to come. near to this so to avoid this so always the cable should be maintained like this shape only so to avoid this okay so the reactions will be outward now the reactions will be outward but in arches the reactions will be inward so that point you have to remember so let us take uh, this uh, cable which is uh, supported between a and b okay there are two reactions here and two reactions here and this cable is subjected to uniformly distributed load throughout this span so throughout this uh, span there is a udl that is w per unit length okay now see uh, the total uh, span of the cable is this is span of the cable is capital l and uh, half you can take it as l by 2 and l by 2 now you can consider this cable suspended between two points a and b which are at the same level so a is also and b is also at the same level so both the supports are at the same level okay and this is subjected to udl w per unit length means for one unit length the intensity will be w kilonewton that you have to remember okay next uh, let uh, w be the udl as you have discussed the uh, udl per unit length then capital l be the span of the cable capital l be the span of the cable and small h 
is the central dip or sag of the cable okay central dip or sag of the cable now can you see the this is a symmetrical okay so symmetrical cable structure so since the udl is acting throughout the span so this you can consider it as a symmetrical one so because of symmetrical so what will be the reaction vertical reaction at a and b so both are same that is va is equal to vb is equal to wl by 2 so how this wl by 2 so what is the total point load here now point load acting on this cable now since it is a udl convert this udl into point load how we going to convert udl into point load see it is the intensity is w and uh, how much length it is acting it is acting for length so w into l will be the point load here w into l will be the point load okay and what about this since uh, it is symmetrical total load will be divided by 2 so this will going to take half the load this support will going to take half the load so total load is total point load is w into l then half will be wl by 2 so each support or each reaction that is vertical reaction va and vb is equal to wl by 2 or you can say va is equal to vb is equal to just v you can indicate v also because both are same here so va is equal to vb is equal to v that is wl by 2 now similarly what is the horizontal reaction okay again due to symmetry this ha is also equal to hb as we have considered in uh, arches also ha is equal to hb is equal to h okay so you can remember or even uh, you can consider this half portion half portion of the arch and you can take bending moment at any point on the okay, cable structure okay bending moment at any portion of the cable structure then you will going to get uh, ha is equal to hb is equal to h that is wl square by 8h okay the horizontal reactions at each support will be wl square by 8h okay so let us uh, take this when you solve the problem once again we will going to deal with in detail okay now if uh, v is the shear at any section x x now take a small uh, portion of the cable okay small portion of the cable and uh, at a distance x from the support a at a distance x from support a you can just take the some length of the cable okay and as we know that there is no bending moment and no shear force but there is a tensile force will be there so this, this is a tensile force okay which will be acting at an angle of theta okay which, which will be acting at an angle of theta so if you resolve this okay if you resolve this t so this is theta so what is horizontal com component it is t cos theta and what is vertical component t sin theta so this udl acting for a length of x okay and at a as we already discussed vertical reaction va and horizontal reaction ha will be there okay now what is our tension so how how much this tension force will be there at this point so the tension t is given by so t is equal to now the same tension force will be there like this if you take this t same on this side okay this will be t now so t you can resolve this along vertical and resolve this along horizontal okay now what is t is equal to now this tensile force t is equal to t is equal to square root of it is nothing but the resultant so what is the resultant now resultant is equal to square root of summation va square and summation ha square so tension t is equal to square root of va square plus ha square now you can take va is equal to v and ha is equal to h okay so what is the tension force in this point so t is equal to root of v square plus h square so root of v square plus h square so and i have written it is a maximum t max means uh, at any point you can calculate the tension in the cable okay at this point what is the tension in this cable it is maximum remember always the tension will be maximum in the cable at two supports at a and at b there will be a maximum tensile force so t max is equal to square root of v square plus h square okay so this is t max and it will be at the supports both the supports tension will be maximum 
similarly the question arises where is the minimum tension where is the minimum tension so the minimum tension will be at the center if you see the tensile maximum tensile force will be at the supports and minimum tension will be at the center point okay so here tension will be minimum okay right see so minimum tension at the center okay so therefore t minimum is equal to square root of same again two forces at every point two forces will be acting so va square plus h square v is square root of v a square plus h square so here v is equal to zero okay so here at this point shear force will be zero okay shear force will be zero so v is zero okay so v will be zero means so what is the minimum tension force it is v zero means it is square root of h square to t minimum is equal to square root of h square so if you take a root of this h square so t minimum is equal to h okay t minimum is equal to h so therefore t minimum is equal to what is h already you have calculated h a is equal to h b is equal to h that is w l square by 8 h w l square by 8 h so important uh, expressions we have got here one is okay maximum tension in the cable that is at two supports at the supports tension will be maximum in the cable and at the center of the cable and at the center of the cable right the tension will be minimum and this t minimum is given by w l square by 8 h what is w w is the udl l is the total span of the cable okay h is the central sag or dip okay so remember t max okay tension maximum tension in the cable at supports minimum tension in the cable at the center okay now similarly uh, next another term we can uh, find out here that is length of the cable so what is the length of the cable okay come to this uh, first figure see this okay this portion this is the length of the cable from here to here not this horizontal distance this along the cable so this is the length of the cable how to find this length of the cable so there is a derivation okay so it is not necessary to derive this uh, length of the cable but just remember this expression length of the cable it is indicated by lc length of the cable lc is equal to l plus 8 h square divided by 3 l okay so lc is equal to l plus 8 h square by 3 l again l is the span of the cable okay and h is the central dip or sag okay so this is the length of the cable so three things you have to remember one is length of the cable okay one is t maximum and another is t minimum so these are the important terms you will going to remember in this uh, chapter or in this cable structure so based on this only uh, we will going to solve the problems in the next session i hope you understood this okay so go through once again this okay and uh, be ready for the next session where we'll going to consider the problems how to find out length of the cable okay how to find out the reactions at the supports and again same uh, the difference uh, there is no much difference between cable and uh, uh, this uh, arches okay the same uh, equations of equilibrium will going to be used okay i hope you understood this okay if any doubts are there call me at any time okay and uh, uh, we'll come up with the next uh, session in which we're going to solve the problems so thank you very much for uh, attending this session thank you